we're going to be talking about Genius Gourmet. Today's video will include timestamps, and those will be in the description box. That way, you'll be able to find the exact point that you're looking for. And that's for those of you that think I talk too much. You're welcome. For the ones that like my chatty little self, I want you to know you're my favorite and I love you. In my most recent Keto on a Budget at Big Lots video is when I shared that I'd found Genius Gourmet Bars. I'm sure most of you already know that those types of closeout stores buy in bulk for specific reasons, whether a company is changing the product or ingredient or maybe even the packaging. So when it's gone, it's usually gone. And that's exactly what happened with the bars. Chris was pretty bummed when we ran out, so I went online to order more. And that's when it hit me. Why don't I ask him if they'll give us a discount code and selfishly, I can use it myself and save some money. To my surprise, they got back to me in mere minutes and said, yes. Not only that, they said, what's your address? We wanna send you a box of goodies so you can show them. I'm embarrassed to admit that this box came in the mail about four weeks ago. It's been sitting here unopened and patiently waiting on me to get my act together. But you already know that I'm behind, not only when it comes to my videos, but life in general. Without further ado, let's check out what's inside the Genius Gourmet box. Before we go any further, I do need to mention that this is not a sponsored video. To get the discount code and link, I did have to sign up for their affiliate program, which means if you use that, you will get a percentage off of your order and I will receive a tiny little commission. And that allows me the ability to bring you future content. So I want you to know, I appreciate your support. Inside the Genius Gourmet box, it's bars. Looks like they included four flavors. As I glance over these boxes, I'm noticing that they all have quite a few things in common. Let's touch on that first. Keto verified, gluten-free. Each one of them says 10 grams of protein and every box has 10 bars inside. On the back of each box is this paragraph. Deliciously smart protein snacks that support your lifestyle. Satisfy your cravings and enjoy our tasty variety of protein snacks created for the whole family to enjoy at home or on the go. That on the go part, well, we've already discussed this in hundreds of my videos. That's the reason we love bars as much as we do. It's the convenience factor. Everything's already measured out. It's handy, it's pre-wrapped. You just grab one and throw it in your bag, whether it's a backpack, a fanny pack, a lunch box, or a duffel bag. They're perfect if you have to travel, whether it's on an airplane or a road trip. You only need one hand so that you can hold it and you can multitask with the other. And the keto bars that I always pick up are jam-packed full of protein and fat, plus they're satisfying. They can be a meal or they can be a snack. And you have options, sweet, savory, crunchy, chewy, just depends on what you like. I am always well prepared because I have a bar in my purse at all times and I don't have to worry about getting hangry. And now that I've sang the praises of bars, let's go over these. I'm gonna start out with my favorite. It's the iced lemon cake. Honestly though, this is the only one that I've ever tried. And the reason I tried it in the first place is because Chris was so insistent. He knows how much I adore anything lemon flavored. He assured me that I would love them and he was right. I'm gonna go over the nutritional facts. One bar is gonna be considered a serving with 170 calories, 13 fat, four total carbs, two dietary fiber, so two net carbs, and 10 grams of protein. The iced lemon cake bar is sweetened with sucralose and stevia. This bar just so happens to be 1.06 ounces or 30 grams. Up next, the one I'm most excited to try because is there any better flavor combo than chocolate and peanut butter? <laughs> I don't think so. Creamy peanut butter chocolate protein bar. Nutritional facts, one bar is a serving with 180 calories, 14 fat, five total carbs, two dietary fiber, one sugar alcohol, meaning two net carbs, and 
10 grams of protein. Sweeteners used in the creamy peanut butter chocolate bar are erythritol and sucralose. Plus this one has MCT. This particular one is 31 grams and it's gonna be 1.09 ounces. If you've watched my videos in the past with my husband, Chris, then you may know that he loves chocolate and peanut butter. So I assumed that the one we just talked about was gonna be his favorite, but I was wrong. It was actually this one, the chocolate dream which I've not tried either. Each bar is 170 calories, 13 fat, four total carbs, two dietary fiber, so two net carbs, 10 grams of protein. Sweetener used, sucralose, and in the ingredients is also showing MCT. Chocolate Dream is 1.02 ounces or 29 grams. Last but certainly not least is the salted caramel. Yeah, I'm gonna hang my head in shame because like I said, I've only had the iced lemon cake, but we'll get to this one. Don't go anywhere. Nutritional information, 170 calories, 13 fat, four total carbs, two dietary fiber, so two net carbs and 10 grams of protein. I'm not seeing MCT in the ingredients, but I do see that sweeteners used are sucralose and stevia. Net weight, 1.02 ounces or 29 grams per bar. If you know me, you know. I have a tendency to be brutally honest when it comes to food reviews. If I don't like something or I think it tastes bad, you're gonna know immediately because this face can't lie. But you have to remember, just because I love something or detest a product doesn't mean that you're gonna feel the same way. We all have different taste buds. I always encourage you guys to test it out yourself. Don't just judge on my opinion. With all that being said, let's go cut these bad boys open. That way I can give you my honest opinion and let you know if they're good or not. I'm pretty sure I just heard my stomach growl. I'm gonna start out with the one I've been looking forward to the most, which is the chocolate and the peanut butter combo. It's got these little crispy, crunchy bits in it, but that middle is like a melt away center. And then look how thick this bar is. Plus it's covered in chocolate. Doing the sniff test, it reminds me of something that I used to eat all the time. Don't say a Reese cup because that's not it. Oh, it smells good. Okay, bottoms up. Mm. That center is light and airy and melts in your mouth. Randomly dispersed little crispy bits on the inside, but not a lot, so it's not overly crunchy. It's just, just enough. And the flavor, spot on. Not only does it smell familiar, it tastes familiar. That could quite possibly be my new go-to bar. Creamy peanut butter chocolate. I'm giving you a 10 out of 10. I think I'm going to try the chocolate dream next. The inside of this one sort of looks like a Milky Way or a Three Musketeer, like that nougaty center, but it's not. This is a denser consistency. I cannot get over how good they smell. Did I mention no aftertaste in that last one? And you know, sometimes these bars start out really good. At the end, they just got this weird aftertaste. The peanut butter chocolate did not. Who am I kidding? I'm excited about this one too. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Have I told you guys that I just love food? The chocolate center in that one, it's like you can taste cocoa. It's got like this hot chocolate taste to it, that melt away center that just dissolves in your mouth. Chocolate Dream. That name sure does fit that bar perfectly because it is definitely a dream come true. On a scale of one to 10, I'm giving it a 10. I am starting to see why my husband Chris is obsessed with these bars. Delicious, scrumptious, amazing, mouthwatering. So far, so good. Salted caramel, 
Smells just as amazing as the rest of them. Another thick bar, completely coated. Nice airy center with a few little crunchy bits on the inside. I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but it smells familiar. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Salty. Sweet. Okay, the thing about that one is I like the fact that you're getting that combo of sweet and salty with the crunchy and the nice smooth texture on the inside. Don't get me wrong. It was tasty. Quite tasty. And I wouldn't turn one down. The thing is, I'm going to rank these and at number one so far is the chocolate peanut butter combo. Number two, chocolate dream. And the salted caramel is at number three. <laughs> but all of them are so good. I cannot express to you just how good they are. I would probably give the salted caramel an eight and a half out of 10. I saved the lemon for last because it's the only one out of all of these that I had tried. So I know I like it, but... <laughs> I'm not gonna pass up having a chunk of it. Completely coated airy center with the little crispy bits on the inside of it too. And the smell is out of this world. Iced lemon cake. Delicious. I love the flavor of the iced lemon cake because it's so sweet. It's not sour or bitter at all. It's right there with the salted caramel. I give it an eight and a half. But the chocolate dream and that peanut butter and chocolate, those are like winning the lottery. Now, before I wrap up, you have a product that you want me to do a review on in an upcoming video, let me know. I wanna start doing these more often. We just sit and chat and I get to eat. It's a win-win for me. <laughs> Go down to the description box and take a peek at some of the companies that have gave us the discount codes. If there is a particular company that you love or a product that you adore and wanna save money on, let me know what it is in the comments so I can add it to the list and reach out to them. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>